munitions failure would be huge. Even a... Uh, oh, what's that other one? Stunned pilot? Pilot skill zero? That'd be pretty big. Or, uh, or sorry, that's damaged cockpit. Structural damage, eh? What's that one where you lose your pilot ability and pilot upgrade cards? Injured pilot. That would be huge. Typo saying I did that wrong. Well, I think you realize after you barrel rolled that he didn't get, he doesn't have the focus because he didn't clear the stress. So I was kind of regretting that a little bit, but still gets two hits. Oh, and he had a target lock anyway, so. Got to hope for misses here. And he gets one more hit, three hits. So Oiken's down to six. So if you're Oiken, you got a focused lock attack. Great chance of getting three hits. If you can get two hits and a crit, that's what you really got to hope for here. There's his crit. He keeps the crit. What? I don't understand that. I guess he was worried that he was just going to roll another blank and dash. Oh, that's why. He's got gunner. Okay, that makes sense. Forgot about that. That there you go. Now you got what you want. Oh, uh, well, we got a little mishap. Typo. What? Typo just took a sh oh, oh, and Rowney Vadered him, and he's gonna Vader again. No way. Oh wow, this is gonna be really interesting. He Vaders himself down to two. He gets two crits then. One's a minor hole breach. I think you'll live with that if you're dash. That's an execute a red maneuver roll and attack die. Yeah, it's, you don't really worry about that. That's what he's got. What's the other one? <laughs> it is stunned pilot that is overlap an object or ship take a damage I believe yes so how does that work with dash now does the crit supersede his ability? Hmm. We got Paul Heaver in here. We can ask him, see what he thinks. I'm sure he knows. And sounds like that's what Typo's gonna ask right now. Olim, you're following me. Thank you. Too kind, sir. And it looks like Rowney doesn't know either. <laughs> Paul? <laughs> Maybe he's AFK.
Grapus is the TO. Grapus, what's the ruling? I think he can. All right. Well, that sucks for Rorouni. Well, I don't know. I don't think I like that the Vader there with Hoiken. The first one, anyway. I think he should have. The Gunner is fine. Do Gunner. But then, what he should have done was he should have, after he did his second attack, the gunner, that's when he should have vadered. He should have just done that one vader, and then he'd still be at three life. Because now, I mean, he had to go for it, I guess. He was down, well, he was only down to six, so I don't know if he did have to go for it. Because what, Dash would be at... Three hole left. Well, he vadered one. And then he rolled a dash roll. He rolled another evade. So, yeah. So, he is at three. Yeah, I don't think I would have done that. I think I just would have vadered the second time. Dash would be at four. You'd be at four. Because now, I mean, we got to think Dash is going to kill him with his next shot. He's just going to focus target lock. And all he needs is... Freaking two hits, and that's it, unless he shoots for an asteroid. So, let's see what Dash's ability says, just to be clear. Read it word for word. You may ignore obstacles during the activation phase and when performing actions. So during the activation phase, that's when you move. So I would have to think, yeah, you ignore it. Stunned Pilot reads, after you execute a maneuver that causes you to overlap either another ship or obstacle, suffer one damage. So that's, I think that would also mean the template overlaps, I believe. That's what they're saying. Mm. So Kyle's or Dash is going to focus target lock. So now look at this. Well, I think he can probably sh decide to shoot through that asteroid. They're both parallel. Oh, he's outside of the arc. Hmm, interesting. Yeah, just don't think it's really going to matter. But if Rurouni goes back and watches this log file, I think, I would hope he would think that was just not the right decision to Vader twice there. Because you see, now he's at two. I mean, and what are the odds that Dash doesn't roll two hits when he's rolling four dice when he's got a focused target lock. I mean, it's got to be less than like 3% or something. Whereas if he was at four, now all you got to hope is that he rolls three or less, which that could happen. Still, more likely that you get four than three with focused target lock, but it's more like, it's a lot more likely 
a guy rolls only three, then two. And now he's at two. And granted, Dash would have been at four, but I think I would just rather take my chances with that. Because at least at four, you fire back with three. He's still got that lock and gunner. If you can get three hits and two blanks, or two hits and a crit, and get a direct hit or a minor explosion, then you win. So, don't know the exact odds on all that. I'm not a mathematician, but that's that's just what I would have done. <clears throat> We can just go in two forward, and Dash is going to go right. So they're just going to ring around the rosy now. Ugh, I don't know if I want to watch this for another freaking three turns while they just chase each other. So Corin and Shaz. Corn and Shazbot, alright. We're gonna go to that, because I think this is all but over. I mean, I can't imagine how Dash would possibly lose this game. The only way would be if he makes a horribly stupid mistake and lands on an asteroid at the same time as Loikin closes to him. So, we'll go back and catch the end. Take a look at this one. So we're just starting out here. Let's see what we got. We have... Oh, who's running what? Corrin. Where are you? Corrin. Ah. Dash, Biggs, Tala. And then a shitload of blues and bandits. So this is... Shazbot. It's got a Whisper and a Mini Swarm. Five Lone Academies. Interesting. Not a fan of the Lone Academies. I feel like, per value, I just don't think they're worth it as filler. I think you're better off going something else. I feel like the value of the unnamed, the Obsidians and Academies comes with Runner, Because everyone knows, like a Headhunter... I think pretty much anyone would say a headhunter is better than an academy one on one, both 12 points each. Uh, but if you're running a swarm, I think most guys would argue Imperial is better because you get Hal Runner. Like what? <sighs> Sorry. The new Silver is not dishwasher safe? Like what I put in there. Sharp knives, um, cafeteria knives from Skydelight Colors that I normally hand wash and take back. Okay, sorry. No, okay, I'm sorry. Um, but he's got pretty standard load on Whisper ACD, Veteran Instincts, and Recon Specialist. So, not a bad squad. I wonder what his point total is Shazbot Echo Cannon didn't go with that he's at 100 hmm do not see very many guys run whisper at 100 points I think 98 or 99 is more common occurrence it goes with a interesting formation here and then Corn's running his B B B B B list. It's a couple of blues and bandits. And huh, is that what he's got? Which one was it? 